And this morning, if you're looking for an impactful New Year's resolution, now is the time to be better at recycling. Amanda Heffley is the Portage County Solid Waste Director and one of our favorite people to talk trash with. And she's joining us this morning to give us ideas on how to be more efficient when recycling. Amanda, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So we're going to start here with plastic bags. And we don't want you to put your recycling in plastic bags because, first of all, someone has to physically rip this open mm -hmm. and you're only going to get so much out. If you can't see through the bag, we're going to immediately think that there's garbage in there or there could be some sharps or something in there, so we're going to throw it away. Okay. So don't bag your recycling. Always put it in your cart loose. Yeah, so you could have the best intentions of recycling, but if you put it in a bag like that, not going to actually happen. Correct. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Always bring it loose, so never do that. Um, then plastic film in bags. People, they see that, yes, you can recycle plastic mm -hmm. film in bags, just not curbside. You can drop it off at a grocery store somewhere that takes plastic bags for recycling, but don't put it in your curbside bin. These wrap around our sorting equipment, like the hair wraps around a vacuum cleaner, mm -hmm. and it's really hard to get out of our sorting equipment, and then it makes it um, inefficient for sorting. Things aren't going to get sorted properly. All right, so you're really slowing down the process then when you uh, throw these in your curbside Correct, mm -hmm. yes, and then someone has to physically go and cut these out, and sometimes they have to use sawzaws to get all the plastic film and bags out of the starting equipment. So don't put this material in your curbside bin. Drop off only recycling. Okay, what do we got next here? All right, so caps. So caps okay. are so small, they fall through all of our sorting equipment. Mm -hmm. So make sure you take the liquids out of your bottle, put the plastic caps back on, um, and then recycle it with a cap on. If it's a glass bottle or something, it has a cork mm -hmm. or a metal container, um, sorry, metal lid, then we ask that you take that off, throw it away. Okay. Metal um, caps can go back into um, a can, um, and then you pinch the can shut, and then you can recycle it that way. Otherwise, loose caps, throw them in the trash. They're going to fall through anyway and not okay. get recycled. All right, yeah, just definitely making things easier there. Mm -hmm. So then we have some uh, bottles here. Yes, clean. Um, so we don't, when you clean your recycling, it doesn't have to be, we don't have to eat out of it again. So as you can see, my self slug container here, there's quite a bit of salsa on the bottom. There's some on the top. This one, not clean enough. Mm -hmm. We want you to rinse it. This one I rinsed. You can see there's still yeah, some residue on the top. Still not perfect there. But that's okay. We mm -hmm. don't want there to be actual material left on the inside of the container. Same with mayonnaise or mayo or something. This is way too much material. We want you to take it out. And this one, once again, this is my own. I'm going to throw this in my recycling bin when I'm done. Mm -hmm. There's still a little bit of residue. I took a spatula, got as much as I could out, did a quick little rinse. It's ready for the Good. recycling bin. Ready to go. Yep, cap back on. All right, and then last but not least here, we got these boxes. Yes, so boxes are very recyclable. We just need you to flatten them like the one on the bottom. Boxes that are not flattened, they can hide things, mm -hmm. and so they could um, potentially hide uh, dangerous items like compressed gas cylinders or sharps or something, and it can keep things from being sorted properly. So always break down your bins, uh, sorry, your boxes before putting it into your bin. All right, all great tips this morning. Amanda, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it.